Now let's take a look at how to do ghosting in the time editor. Now this is really important if you're trying to line up clips. So let's take a look at the ghosting process and then we'll go ahead and line up some clips later. So ghosting is a clip based function. So each clip can have ghosting turned on or off. And we do this by either right clicking above the clip and you can see we have a ghost function here. We can enable that or we make sure that the clip is selected and we go clip ghost and then we can enable it. Now when you do notice how this skeleton kind of highlights and that's because the skeleton is now ghosted. So once I ghost the skeleton what it will do is it will stick to the last frame we have on the screen. So once I scrub the timeline and stop that ghost will stick. So if I, for example, select this clip and move it, notice how the ghosting sticks. But as soon as I let go and move the timeline, I get that reset. So again, I can move this and I can see where the ghosting is. Now this is particularly important when you're working with multiple clips. So let's go into our outliner here and let's bring in another clip. If I go down to my time editor, you see I have a couple of clips. One of them is called Cyborg Walk. So I'm gonna middle click and drag that to the timeline. And then I'm gonna position it pretty much so that it lines up with the end of this run. So once we have ghosting turned on for that run clip, notice how as soon as it goes to that next clip, it sticks. So basically this ghost represents the last frame of this cyborg run. Now if I were to trim off the clip, it would be the end of that. So again, it just depends on where that clip ends on the time editor as to where the ghosting will be. Now this is really important for positioning characters. If you want to line up the feet or the arms of a character and position them so you can do a transition, this is what you need to do. Ghosting can also be customized. If we go into a clip and right click above it, you can go into the ghosting menu here. And we have what are called user defined ghosts. And what we have is basically a menu that allows you to actually add or remove objects from the ghosting solution. So if you have too many objects or something, you can take them out. But that's the basics of ghosting. Now, this is really important when you try to align clips. And we'll go ahead and do that next.